guys, it's Half Iron back again. This is going to be a super duper quick update on my Pan Night palette, palette, which is this one from Designer Brands, which has 48 colours. Um, I haven't worn makeup a lot in the last month. Sorry, there was a bug flying around my head. Um, I haven't worn makeup a lot in the last month or so um, since I started this project, but I have used a few of the colours, and on the whole, I am not entirely dissatisfied. Um, this this black ish color here is actually the majority of the dark color that I'm actually wearing today um, and I have a bit of that one there in um, the inner corner and blended with another color, similar color um, and this one here I blended out with I have done a few looks mainly concentrating on these two rows here. I have used, let's see if I can remember, I have used this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, uh, that one there, I think that one, and I know I've used this one over here. Um, so I haven't used a huge amount of them. But I've, you know, knocked the top off of a couple of them. They are quite uh, powdery. Like, there's a lot of, like, kickback. That's the, like, really dark one. And just, whoop, just from doing, like, light swatch of it, you can see, um, you see all that extra there, which makes the palette super duper messy. There's, like, stuff everywhere. Um. But you know, that considering that this is a very low cost palette, some of the colours have an awful amount, like they're like super duper um, pigmented. Um, but they do unfortunately blend, if you blend them too much, you can easily blend them away. You can see how powdery they are, and then like this red one. Where's that one? See, it just kind of like blends too much, ends up a bit muddy. I needed to layer quite a bit of this dark one on to get like the color payoff. Like this green one, when you blend it, it almost blends away, which is not really what you want, um, especially if you're trying to do like a fairly intense look. Um, I do tend to put a cream base underneath. Um, the two main eye looks I've done are um, basically neutrals through the um, crease from my other eyeshadows that I am trying to hit pan on and then um, a white eye base, um, well sort of white eye base, using Maybelline Colour Tattoo in Too Cool which is like a shimmery white kind of colour. Um, I put that on and then put like the green or the blue over the top of that. So that's sort of the main thing I've been doing um, I'm not expecting to necessarily make huge progress in any of them, but I would like to try as many of the colours as I can, um, you know, and as I said in my initial one, if I hit pan in lots of them, that's great, um, but I just want to know that I've used it before I decide to, like, not have it anymore, because um, I am trying to, you know, reduce my collection a little, so... Anyway, that was my quick update. There is no noticeable difference in any of these shadows from the initial video, the intro video. So, but have, some of them have actually been used. So that is my update for my 
pan that palette for 2017. If you want to see more of my stuff, then click the subscribe button down there. Click the bell so that you get notified of when I put out a new video. Leave me a thumbs up if you like project pan, use it up type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.